what what is a feminist life or what are those actions I feel like a feminist life to me would be um, having a role no like defining the self but the self within a community and very much about equality and sustainability my efforts I'm here because my great-grandmother who was married off at the age of 14 in India and was illiterate made a choice you know a hundred years ago to raise her daughters as uh, and educate them much the same way that she would educate her sons and every generation of women in my family from my mother's side made a choice and it was a very significant choice about educating women about giving them the same options um, that the men in the family had. Any other uh, role models for not just the way you choose to live your life but also the way you choose to make your art? I've thought a lot about it and I think again for me uh, the people who um, inspire me the most you know because there's Frida and you know the usual um, there are the artists right but for me, the people who inspire me the most, the women who inspire me the most, um, I, I would think of um, Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay, who is this, um, who's basically considered the doyen of Indian arts and crafts. She wasn't an artist herself. She was a social reformer. She was a feminist way before her time. And she was a freedom fighter. Um, does the personal always become the communal? Or the political? Well, I, I think of my art as um, trying to instigate a conversation. And I, I, I choose not to say initiate, I say instigate and provoke because very often I find that the world we live in is inundated with so much media that uh, people are kind of like zombies in some ways. They, get, they receive so much that there is very little to respond to, to react to. Do you consider your work to be uh, mostly personal or is it the personal that is communal or the personal that is political? Is it always the public and the private meeting uh, in, in your work? Or, and I'm asking that question because of uh, how you've identified your influences. I think every bit of art has to come from, has to kind of wind its way through your personal kind of uh, lens. Um, so there's no way that anything that I make is doesn't kind of, you know, is, is, is kind of molded by my experience and my, vi my view of the world. I'm, um, I'm a distinct outsider every place I go. And so my art is shaped by that. Um, the community that I have is a community of women, primarily. My art is shaped by that. Um, my views are very political, even though I try to disguise them. Uh, my art is shaped by that. So yes, I think I think every, you know, like I cannot exist in isolation. My art cannot exist in isolation. It is a conversation with the world, and it's a conversation with every person who uh, comes in contact with it, and it is not a one-sided conversation. So what would what what's your vision as a woman artist in the 21st century? What's your vision for what's happening next? Cuz we're living in some pretty crazy times. My vision I just want to create a space where where one can have a conversation. It's not enough to um how do I let me find a nice way of saying this. I feel like there are so many isms that determine who we are. And people are so politically correct. I want people to question. And I want people to go back and look at all these definitions. Because unless we question everything, we're not going to struggle with anything. And then we're not going to have answers. So I find that right now, I feel like I'm living in this... Um, desert of platitudes where what you see is not what is real. 
do you think we haven't gone too far then in that? Well, I mean, look at the success of, uh, you know, for me, like you measure success by what you see around you. And if you look at what's go what you see in the media, what you see on television, the programs that are getting made, um, I just recently a report came out that 6% of, I think 6 or 7% of all uh, directors in um, Hollywood or filmmakers were women. So no, it's you know everyone thought you know just in film the world of film there was supposed to be the Bigelow effect after Catherine Bigelow won the Oscar. Right. What happened? You know when I walk into a room, um, I'm frequently I'm not the only woman. But I'm frequently the only brown woman there. Right. And the women have to partake in um, an industry that is dominantly male. And I think that that model, I don't think the film industry, much as it's kind of, uh, you know, criticized, is alone. I think that model is replicated across most industries whether you look at sciences or whether you look at if you look at who's getting funded um, I think the big projects I think the you know big glitzy stuff goes to the guys and yes I think safe spaces are important but I also think we need to claim more and more